I just got an ugly haircut. <sighs> Summer jobs, retail versus fast food. Which is better? Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am just going to be talking about the pros and the cons of working in a retail versus fast food. I know it is summer already and a lot of you guys are probably looking for jobs and you guys are probably curious, should I work in a fast food restaurant or should I work in a retail? I'm just going to be giving you guys a little bit of advice and tips of here and there because I have worked both retail and fast food back in my day, which was like last year. But I have experienced both and I can definitely tell you guys a little bit about pros and cons of working in both fields. So. Without further ado, let's get started. I personally didn't start working at retail till last year. And last year, I got hired at Marshalls where you can get t-shirts like this for $25 instead of buying t-shirts at Hudson's Bay for like $50 or $75, you know? So you just get like branded stuff at a much lower price. There, there's also like if you're into makeup, there's Kat Von D. If you're into colognes, there's like Versace, Prada, and just like Marc Jacobs, stuff like that, you know? All right, so what are the pros of working in a retail store? Well, time goes by quick, depending on what time of day it is and what day it is of the week. Usually, not a lot of people go to retail stores. Like, I personally wouldn't go to like a clothing store or like Marshalls if it's not like the weekends or whenever I have free time which is in the evenings. So if you work at retail in the morning, especially since it's summer that you have to have your like availability open to get more shopping. Um, if you're working in the morning, time usually goes a little bit slower. And um, I don't know about you guys, but when attractive people, like really hot people come into my store, I get a little bit intimidated. I start turning red, which I'm going to be talking a little bit about later in fast food. But in retail, it's a little bit easier. Can You can just sort of like swerve them unless they ask you a question and you're kind of just like... My number? Oh, oh, small. Oh, you're looking for small. Um, Okay. But yeah, it's just a little bit intimidating. And there's not that much picky people and whenever people go to retail stores they usually just like to find their own thing unless really they can't find it so they'll probably ask you that way but if they don't ask you half the time they'll just find their own and they'll rummage through this stuff and all you have to do is basically just fold things and just use the till unlock fitting rooms manage fitting rooms and stuff like that and it's just so fun. I like being a cashier. Um, I have worked at the sales floor. I have worked as a cashier and I have also worked at fitting rooms and I love all of it. In fitting rooms, it's kind of chill depending on how much customers you're getting. Cashier time, it goes by quick, but yeah, it's just, it's so chill working in retail. I love it. I love working in retail. All right. So what are the cons of working in a retail store? People will rummage through stuff. They do not care. They don't care that you folded it nicely. They don't care you spent 10 seconds on each clothing folding it nicely. They don't care. They will put the small all the way in the XL. They will take that cologne from the front of the store, bring it close to the cashier, just kidding, and leave it by the washroom, okay? They don't care. And I'm such a hypocrite because sometimes I do do this, but um, people, don't have the time to take that shirt, lift it up, grab the size they need, and put it back down nicely. They don't care. They will flip everything over. They will literally put that clothing all the way in the other side of the store. And it's not like, it's not like they're trying. It's just they're, it's not you. It's, it's them. Okay, like. But um, yeah, like people just don't care. It's a lot of things to clean up, but with a lot of things to clean up, time does go by faster. Like I said, people come in, they go out. You fix things and by the time you're cleaning up you're looking at the clock and it's literally like oh like shit like oh i'm done i'm done my shift is done <laughs> 
and it's closing time or it's switch shift time you know if you're into just like a cool vibe place kind of just like chill fold clothes here fold clothes there clean the washroom here clean the washroom there cashier here cashier there then it is all good If you apply to your favorite retail store, 99.9% .9 of the chance they'll usually have a 10 to 15% discount for you and for your family to use. Oh my god, fast food, kill me. You guys can tell how much I like working in the fast food industry. Okay, so working in a fast food, I have personally worked as a frozen yogurt person which not gonna lie like I love that job I was in like a little gray apron and I was wearing a white shirt and if I can insert a photo here I will that's what I looked like and I was giving out free samples and I loved it okay and I got free ice cream on my breaks and then after that I applied to McDonald's and then I just never got an interview back which is like how do I not get an inter interview from McDonald's? Like, anyways, I didn't get into McDonald's, but I did get into Subway. Um. Uh. Okay. Let's talk about pros and cons. So, pros of working in a fast food: things go by fast. Okay, no matter what time of day it is. No matter what, it is summer, okay? It is summer. It will be busy the whole day. If you want time to go by fast, like if you want to get in there, get out, go for fast food. Everything goes by fast and you're usually just doing something so you're not bored waiting for time to pass. Um, once you go in, you're usually right out and it's all smooth sailing business. Perfect. Now the cons. What are the cons of working in a fast food restaurant? Hmm, I don't know. Here's a hundred things. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna give you a hundred. That was a little too over dramatic. Anyways, cons of working in a restaurant. People, people will get so picky about their food. So like, I totally understand people have allergies, people are allergic to this, people can't eat that, stuff like that. I totally understand gluten-free. I get it, okay, I get it. Allergies are important, it can kill you. I don't want you dead. I don't want no lawsuit, okay? People will send stuff back because it's not hot enough. People just get so picky, okay? People about the most littlest things. They're like, it's not the finest. And you're just like, oh my god. If you're not a confrontational person, I don't really suggest you working at a fast food restaurant because you will get in beef. Especially if you work in McDonald's, those girls will fight you for a junior chicken burger, okay? Things get confrontational in a fast food restaurant. So if you're looking for a job and you're not a confrontational person, if you're not someone who can argue really well, I don't really suggest working in a fast food restaurant. Also, depending on what restaurant you go to, like, in Starbucks, it's chill, it's coffee. I mean, the lineup gets busy, but you're always making coffees here and there, and it's fast, and people might send it back because it's not hot enough, and that's okay, that's okay. If you work in like a Froyo restaurant like I did, it's cool because you're just refilling the ice cream tub, you're just giving out samples. I mean, if you're kind of embarrassed to give out samples because there's that really attractive customer, which by the way, really attractive customers do come, they come more often than retail stores, okay? You just wanna hide your face because you're in this ugly ass uniform and you're just like... But it's fine, it's fine, because you're making money, you're making bank, and later on you can dress up and maybe get that person's number, okay? I don't know, just, I don't know. Depending on what fast food you get into, like, it's easy. But if you're at a fast food like Edo, or McDonald's, or Burger King, or Chick-fil-A, or Taco Bell, there is a lot of grease. If you work at a restaurant, 99.9% .9 you can eat their food or get discounts on their food like 50% off. So yeah, if you're just wondering, should I go into retail, should I go into fast food? If you want a little bit more of a chill vibe, you're not really good at arguing, you like to find things, you like to help people out, Go to retail. If you're good at arguing, if you're 
fast at thinking, if you're proactive, if you want to get in, get out of that job, work at fast food. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely had fun talking a little bit about it. If you guys want some crazy story times about the people I have met, I have encountered, these customers are crazy, okay? From retail and fast food, then give this video a like because I will definitely make that for you. And please make sure to subscribe and be part of the family. I am going to be posting a lot more every Tuesday and Friday because it is summer. So there's so much more content. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you make up your mind on whether you should go for retail or fast food when you're picking out your summer job. doesn't have to be retail or fast food, but if that's what you're thinking about, if that's what you're deciding about, then you already know what to do. So that is it for today's video. I hope to see you guys later. Bye. Good luck, Charlie.